What is going on, everyone? My name is Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the left side of the map, in the red color, playing is Loki. His name is Shadowfax. His opponent today in the blue color, playing as Odin. His name is Yoshi. This is game number two of the best of three for the Champions League. Group stages. Everything is on the line here. Yoshi wins. He's in the playoffs. Yoshi loses. I'm not actually sure. Goes to head-to-head. -to -head. It goes to tie break. So we'll have to wait and see. The map. Competitive Mega Random. Competitive Mega Random is the map. Now this map looks a little bit like uh, some other maps like Erebus or Fields of Punishment. Don't get confused. It is to make a random there's a decent amount of hunt it seems on the map as well with the uh, big opening in the center with nothing in it for all of the fighting to take place the, the grounds of battle let's so go have the shingles of steel here as well so an interesting matchup we have seen some loki players having some very big success in this matchup uh, even though it seems to me that all signs point to odin having the advantages here by playing, uh, by playing slow and seeing what they can do. So I'll have to wait and see what Shadowfax is going to be pulling out in this game and what Yoshi is going to be using in this game as well. There's a scrambling. We're trading back, looking around, trying to find something to do. Going to be putting up that temple and playing nice and defensive, most likely. There's plenty of hunt on this map, so... For Yoshi to play defensive here, it might be a little bit challenging to hold that second hunt against the Loki pressure. But it looks like that's what he's going to be going for. Temple in the main base, not going forward here. We do see the, the villagers coming forward onto this location to grab the ball here as well. Uh, sometimes you can get away with doing a very, very big rush against the Loki, even while building at home. Why? Because Odin gets access to Great Hunt, which allows Odin to sit in his main base and get to the Classical Age much, much more efficiently than his opponent, than Loki does. And it looks like Shadowfax misses his Auroch on that position as well. This is why you got to scout with your cows. you got to get that back area scouted out in the early game. This is the this is very, very important for... Uh, it's just very, very important. It's just very, very important. Shadowfax could also be... Sharing this tree line here, if you wanted to, with the ox cart, moving the villagers over here. You would lose about two gold, I reckon, to reposition your, like, total, like, four gold total to reposition your villagers over here. Uh, and put the ox cart on this side. And you can save an ox cart. As now we see Yoshi getting himself the last ox cart out. Another dwarf coming through. You will be wanting to advance relatively soon here uh does he go for a fifth dwarf no he's gonna be wanting to advance wait he's getting his hearser out already guys this is the build if you guys want to play odin and you want to play odin at the highest level you have to know this build the fact that Yoshi has already started two Hursa before he clicks up to the Classical Age is gigantic. Yes, there's a little bit of a housing crisis here, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, his Hursa are going to be out. He's going to be searching around, trying to find some villages to attack here. And Shadowfax is going to be on the back foot from the get-go. We are seeing some Hursa coming out now for Shadowfax as well. But Yoshi is two Hursa in front, it seems. He's got one... No, he's, he's one Hursa in front. One Hursa. So it's not a huge deal, but it is. It is a huge deal. But it's not a huge deal, but it is. I'm going to steal this build. I'm going to start learning this build. This is so good. Like, I, I, made a, I made a little... Actually, you could kind of work... It's not really fair judging Loki versus Odin, but you can kind of see exactly how many, different, how many resources you get extra by doing this build versus the standard build. Uh, and in just the fact that you can get squeeze out that extra Hursa. As the Valkyrie is now out for Yoshi, going to be searching around the map for a little bit of harass here. 
Uh, you got to imagine the Chatterfax can deal with that. Just position the troll over here to, to defend against the Valkyrie. Should be completely fine as we see some Herso starting to move through. You know, she's got a significant population advantage at the moment with a whole bunch of uh, wood and gold in the bank. Both players actually floating some resources here needing to start spending that. As we see some Ulfsark coming out for Yoshi to start things off. Generally speaking, uh, we generally stay away from Ulfsark in this matchup. Uh, Odin versus Loki, but you can start with a handful of them just to give you a bit better uh, early game pressure. As you're getting dealt with there, moving up to those elk next. People are just still finishing up with these boars over here as well. There's plenty of hunt on the map. You can move forward onto these elk over here. There's elk on the bottom there as well. There's a whole bunch of boar down there as well. As I think there's also another auroch at the main base. Uh, two aurochs basically in the main base as well for uh, for Shadow Fags. The old Sark starting to move across the map. Going to look for some raids. Shadow Fags just playing nice and defensive. Lone Wanderer actually coming through for Yoshi. So he is going for old Sarks against Loki. We'll see if this is going to work out or not. As the Hursa searching around here, they will be giving away the position of the Gatherers as the Hursa move out of position there. Nice micro here from Shadowfax to bring those villagers away as his Hursa come back to say, get out of here. And a little bit of a pathing crisis there for Yoshi as he does manage to pull out of this position. Hall of Thanes is on the way now for Shadowfax as well as he's trying to get as much damage onto those Ulfsark as he possibly can. But they will heal them, heal themselves back up. No problems. The Valkyrie is there. Odin, uh, unique bonus of healing his units is also there. So they're completely fine. So we are seeing some raids now coming through onto this position with the, the Ursa just sitting on the back there. One thing that Shadowfax could do if he wants to is start harassing the, the Elk. It's definitely a worthwhile thing to do in these positions to give yourself the, the extra favor that comes from them. They are giving like one, like half a favor each. So it is well worthwhile to, 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 to take down those take those take down those elk early. If, especially if they're on your opponent's side of the map. As Yoshi searching around for raids, but with that with that uh with that Hall of Fans up, Yoshi not gonna be able to find a whole lot. There's more houses coming down, more Ulfsark coming out as Yoshi here. Mass Ulfsark against her, sir. Technically speaking. Mass Ulfsark should beat the Hursa. Think about it. Two population uh, scrailing. Gonna have to do some crazy quick math here. So that would be, you'd have to go up to six populations. So three times 88 on the HP for the Ulfsark. That's more than two times 56, 156, right? As far as fire does get dropped down, the Ulfsark taking this fight. As we are seeing Shadowfax here, he's not retreated back, but he does pull back now. As the Ulfsarks are not able to get back home, and those Hursa have to go back to the forest, uh, back to the healing spring to heal back up. And that's going to be a, a decent trade there for Shadowfax. He's going to be happily, happy with taking out the Valkyrie at that point. But Shadowfax here, he's getting kept in his base here by just a handful of Ulfsark after all is said and done. Is three times 88 more than two times 156? It's pretty close, right? No, it looks like the Hursa get more more uh, more HP, but the Ulfsark obviously going to be doing more damage by a considerable amount. Plus, the Ulfsark have got themselves more hack armor. So maybe maybe Yoshi's onto something with this. Obviously, you still have to deal with those uh, with those myth unit spawns, but if you continue to build Hursa, which we are seeing Yoshi doing, he will be able to deal with those myth units fairly easily as village is getting pulled back. Shadowfax is now starting to get himself some Thrown Axemen. He can also start building some Trolls and things like that as well. As Yoshi pulls back onto this position there. Uh, the gold mine problems. There's not really a gold mine problem for Shadowfax. He's got a nice gold up here. Uh, Yoshi going to be finishing up on his gold fairly soon as well as the units deciding to take this fight over here. Yoshi needs to be a little bit careful. Make sure he's got all of his units here as this Hursa gets caught out of position. Can he pull that one back to safety as the Hursa are now starting to move across the map looking for a raid? These villagers here do have a nice safe retreat through here as there's villagers on this position as well grabbing that... Uh, Coming those resources. Will we see Yoshi getting that wall up? He does go for it to keep the Hursa away from this position. And it looks like uh, Shadowfax does notice there's villagers over here as well as the army still slowly now on the uh, 
on the chasing here. They're chasing it down, but there's villagers now moving over onto this gold here. If Yoshi's paying attention, he is paying attention. He's going to send the Ulf Sarks onto that onto the gold there to get a little bit of damage done onto Shadowfax. As the dwarves, they can't sit here without any sort of defense. There's a handful of units here to defend. As the Ulfs are coming through, the villagers are falling here for Yoshi. As the uh, as the Ulfs are coming in to try and fight this one, Shadowfax will be getting some nice myth unit spawns here if, if Yoshi decides to finish that fight off. As the Ulfs are swinging around here, Shadowfax doesn't have a good place to retreat. That's a lot of dwarves there. 11 dwarves on this position. And you see Yo Shadowfax... Oh, sorry, Yoshi already moved to the top side of the map there to prevent the uh, the retreat there, but it looks like Yoshi doesn't stop the top retreat there. There's some units coming through. There will be a decent amount of trades here. Yoshi is in the lead on the village account here. Shadowfax is going to be able to advance to the next age at this point, though. After all is said and done, does he have that armory up anywhere? It's coming up over here as the uh, Olsark pushing through to get some more damage done. The Olsark's turning around and fighting. Not exactly... No, sorry, the Dwarves turning around and fighting. Not exactly what he wants to do as more units coming through onto that position. Where's the, where have the Hursa gone? Is the Hursa now starting to move in here to try and take this fight? And once the Hursa come in, you can definitely think about just retreating away as these Olsark over here are all going to be getting taken down. Shadowfax is going to be kicking himself for not going for that bottom gold mine as Bragi does get clicked up. Yoshi here, he's still kind of stuck in that classical age. He's on this gold mine over here. He's got plenty of hunt over here. He's got the, uh, got the herdables in his main base as well as he's continuing to take these fights with his Olsark. No upgrades just yet in terms of the army here. No copper mail at this point as the Hursa are going to be retreating back and we do see an, an ox cart also getting taken down there as well as the old sarks retreating away from this position as well and after all is said and done shadowfax now only has got 24 villagers remaining and he's throwing away ursa on this position as well this is absolutely huge for yoshi every little bit of damage he does at this point is gigantic and right now yoshi's Oh, Yoshi's only win or lose condition here would be a huge flaming weapons timing attack and Shadowfax just does not have the units to make this happen as we do see the villagers over here have been spotted. Shadowfax is going to get a troll spawn here as Yoshi gets caught out of position yet again here as he has to pull back. Uh, we do see some units coming up to the top side of the map going to be hitting that gold mine uh, as well as an Einhear spawn comes through. The Hursa get their upgrade as well for hitting that uh, hitting that heroic age and he's going to be pushing into the main base. Can Shadowfax just honestly just send the Einhear in, right click on the towns and click flaming weapons right away and enjoy that the the, uh, the dead town center and all the villages you can take out would be the play at this point for Shadowfax as the Olves suck. They're not going to be defending very well. He's just going for, uh, for kills here. So if you want, the best play, in my opinion, would be kill the town center, prevent a mythic, a, a heroic age from coming for Yoshi and then just go after villages and then you can just say, no worries, in complete Norse fashion, we don't care. We're just going to we're just going to um, say crazy GG, no worries. We'll, we'll just we'll just say zero town center, zero villages, and fight to the death. As flaming weapons does get dropped down here, uh, I believe that there's too many Olsark in this position to fight this one off. As the Hursa on this position looking for some more kills, taking out the houses over here as the dwarves move up to the top position. All the Hursa falling on that position there as well. As the troll does get taken out as well over here there's the old start coming in to try and take out the gatherers here but the flaming weapons has got itself 30 seconds left there's a handful of hersa over here as the villagers moving up onto this gold mine here as well there's some auroch there that could potentially get grabbed yoshi's going up through scardy at this point as well he's going to have a, a huge amount of uh Frost Giants to utilize here as well as the Hursa dive into the town center. The units here for uh, Shadowfax going to be pushing up to this position over here to try and defend. Ugh. I should say do damage. Taking out the villages on the gold yet again. But with Scardi coming through, Frost is going to be huge here to take out those units. And also, I mean, just bringing the Ulfsark back to defend here as well is going to be uh, a big thing to do is some Ulfsark here. Nice micro from uh, Yoshi keeping his units alive as the Skadi comes through here. Ulfsark's going straight after the Hursa on this position as Shadowfax has to retreat back, trying to work this one out after all is said and done. The Frost Giants here as well. Thank you for the Prime Schlackers! 21 months, my friend. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming and saying hi and sticking around. 
Appreciate that. As the frost does get dropped onto this location, eight dwarves, seven gatherers getting uh, getting frozen there when Shadowfax only got 32 villagers as well. That's a huge problem here for Shadowfax to deal with as the Frost Giant comes through. There's a handful of trolls over here as well as these Lovesarks are still pushing back on that position uh, and more units pumping out here for Yoshi. He is behind in the population ever so slightly as the Hursa going after this Frost Giant here as a Battle Boar spawn comes in clutch. It is stuck in on this position though. If Yoshi micros the Frost Giant onto that battle ball. We'll be able to take that one down as well as we do see a stray throw on Axe. We're going to be hitting some sort of a raid onto that bottom position there. Valkyrie's going down there as well trying to hit that one. It's more Olsark coming through here for Yoshi to continue this fighting as the battle ball coming in. going to be a tough one to deal with as well. As the battle ball does go down Oh, Ulfsark coming through. There's just so many Battle Ball here for Shadowfax that I don't know if it's going to be enough because the, the, the Frost Giants, they'll be able to take out all those Myth Units really, really easily. And Yoshi is microing this nicely. He's just not targeting down those Myth Units. He's going straight after the, the, the Hursar, after the Throwing Axeman, leaving his Frost Giants to come through and deal with everything else here in this game. Shadowfax is still in a decent position, though, as the Valkyrie on the bottom here having to get taken out by some Ulfsark as some more units coming through here to start getting some damage done on that position and Yoshi has to pull back at this point Shadowfax still alive after all is said and done 37 villages to 36 it's incredibly equal at this point that's the throw on axeman here going to get taken down that Valkyrie here still uh, being a problem for uh, for Yoshi but Shadowfax here it's going to be getting uh, lost, and Shadowfax should be able to hold on this position. There's some more villagers coming over here trying to grab the hunt, but Yoshi's already taken it. There's no hunt really left on this top side or left side of the map. There is hunt over here with the Aurochs, with the Elk as well, as the villagers are going to look to try and take a fight or something here. Is Yoshi here going to turn around and start shanking? Shadowfax retreating away from that position here as the unit's moving over for Yoshi is at 88 population. Shadowfax is at 113 population in a really, really good position. Pushing off of this gold line. Yoshi retreating back. The uh, the villagers here for Yoshi's currently has pretty much, I would say, every single villager idled at this moment here. No income. Decides to turn around and take a little bit of a fight here on this gold line. As the Frost Giant's coming through, there's four f battle boards here. Losing this one is going to be huge before the fight starts and there's four frost giants here so the frost giants are easily going to be able to deal with those battle boars after all is said and done as the battle ball do bash away for the time being the frost giants deal with what's happening over here nicely as another battle ball gets frozen in its place and shadowfax has got to figure out the different the next step forward here does he grab a talent center does he go mythic age through hell what is he going to do as the village is jumping onto this wood line the the ox cart is in position he can continue to go forward here he can start making himself some some throwing axes if he so chooses obviously no more food income at the moment here for yoshi as the battle balls getting cleaned up those old sark dealing with the uh Hursa very very nicely here nice micro from shadowfax to try and keep them alive but he needs to somehow get in here and deal with the frost giants as every one of those battle ball gets trapped there in this game beautiful play by yoshi to deal with that one as shadowfax's villages they're still not figuring out they need to move up to the top side of the map to continue the hunting here in this game as the last of the hersa getting taken out there's not going to be any more hersa remaining so how do you deal with those frost giants of yoshi answer has to be for shadowfax is trolls don't build the battle ball anymore Put the villagers onto wood, spam trolls here, ladies and gentlemen, to deal with those frost giants. And that's going to be the next step here for Shadowfax to work out. If he can deal with those frost giants with trolls, he will be able to prevent Yoshi from getting some sort of a mythic age or a Ragnarok will come through and he should be completely fine here to move forward. As the army looking to continue pushing in, he's got himself the Yarls coming out. He's got a, a hill fort up as well on that position. Probably not that useful here as both players at 115 population. Uh, as the troll gets caught out there, gets left behind six frost giants at this position here for Yoshi. Does he have a market up somewhere to trade? No market to trade for food. Do we see a market up for Yoshi, uh, for Shadowfax anywhere? No market up for Shadowfax. Shadowfax actually eating the uh, berry bushes here as well. As a, uh, a stray Yarl going to get taken out, cannot retreat back there. 
Nice play from uh, Yoshi continuing to take Shadowfax's units out here as more population coming through or more resources coming through for Yoshi. Takes out one battle ball there. Has to snipe down those Hursa and then this is going to be a really tough fight for Shadowfax as Shadowfax is insisting on continuing these fights here as the Frost Giant. Nice micro there from Yoshi to pull away from the Hursa as more units pushing through here for Shadowfax on the top, making those Yarls, but Yoshi going to continue making himself throwing action to clean everything up here as the Battle Balls getting cleaned up, and there is nothing left here for Shadowfax in this fight. Loses, he can't take the fights against the Trolls. There's just too many of them uh, at this point here for Shadowfax to deal with. As the army moves up to the top side of the map here, he's got this gold remaining. He's got a gold mine over here. The raven is checking out the villagers on this position as well, as I'm sure that Yoshi can just send a handful of Olfsark up to harass that and, and stop the gold income over there. As we do indeed see a market coming up, and, and Yoshi, simply put, wants a town center. He buys 100 food, and he grabs that town center. And he'll be able to start making farms soon. He stopped villager production as well here in this game. As the Frost Giant's pushing through, we do see the villagers or the uh, Olsark over here looking for something on that position as well. As those Battle Ball, they're continuing. Is he still making them? No, he stopped making Battle Ball for the time being, needing to figure out the next step. Farm starting to coming up for, ya for, for Shadowfax as well. There is this hunt over here as well, and Shadowfax taps out. He's nine, village in, is nine villagers in front, and he just can't. He just taps out. His nine villagers in front. He's got a gold mine over here. This is a mental loss if I've ever seen one here. How is the economy going for both players as well after all is said and done? Shadowfax is in front in the economy. Sure, you've lost the town. The town center is coming up here, but Shadowfax's read on this game is way off. Yes, he can't push through these frost giants, but he's got the farm set up. He's got the economic advantage. He will be able to hit the Mythic Age first here. He can get himself out of Nidhogg to kind of push through this army. He can get himself out Fire Giants to push through the Frost Giants as well. He can start getting himself some more Hursa to break through the Frost Giants once he gets some more food income. Or he could start buying food to make himself some more Hursa right now as well would be another option. The gold mine over here is about to expire. And yes, there is a gold mine back here, but it's very easy to run through and raid that. Shadowface just gives up here. Yoshi surviving. For game number three, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.